Hello, welcome to Aquarius Rising Tarot. Thank you all so much for joining me here. This message is going to be for Leo for the month of April. So this will be a you and them reading. All of your cards on one side and your person's cards on the other. This is someone you're connected to. Wow, <laughs> a lot of cards just wanted to come out. Someone you are connected to energetically, romantically, someone that you are thinking about, and someone who is thinking about you. I want to thank everyone who's liked, subscribed, commented, donated, and ordered personal readings. You all make it possible for me to bring you these messages, and I appreciate you so much. So let's get started. What is the heart of the matter for Leo? Wow, oh, way too many cards. Okay. <laughs> what is the heart of the matter? What is Leo thinking about the connection? What are some things going on in the daily life? What's happening in your daily life that could be affecting this connection? What is happening in your heart space? How are you feeling about your person? What intentions do you have towards the connection? What is a potential outcome? Is a potential outcome for the month of April? Yeah. Okay, get your person's cards. What is the heart of the matter? Wow, that one just came right out. Okay. What are some things going on in the daily life? How does your person feel? What's going on in their heart space towards you? And what intentions do they have or actions might they take towards this connection? What is a potential outcome for the month of April? Potential outcome. Okay. Let's get started. For the heart of the matter, we've got you as the seven of wands here. So that is Leo energy. That is you. You're in your element. Now, this is someone who can be a little bit guarded, but this is our hero card. This is someone who's taking a stand for what they're passionate about, what is meaningful to them. You might be even saying a few no's in your life to different things, different people trying to demand your attention or time or whatever, so that you can really focus on what matters. You can really hone in. Something, someone is on your mind for sure. The ones are all about creativity, passion, fire, and definitely fired up about something but the seven of wands all the seven cards have a little to do with timing so i feel like you do have kind of timing on your mind when it comes to this uh connection meaning you're thinking about what to say when to say it how to say it um or you're just being a little quiet because you're focused on some stuff going on inside of you. It's going to be different for everyone. Heart of the matter for your person is the Knight of, Co Knight of Coins. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, specifically Taurus for me as a reader. This is someone who is pretty determined about you and this connection and this relationship. They are steadily moving forward, wanting to make something happen, wanting to make an offer. The Knight of Coins is a little different from the other Knights where some may rush in with a lot of talk, a lot of romance, a lot of passion. This one, they hold all that, like they hold all that within them, but they come forward to stay. Like they want to come forward in a way that they can really show up 
and be there for you and with you in the long run. So somebody's got their sights set on you, Leo. In your daily life, interesting, Three of Cups. I don't think you're overthinking all of this. This is water energy, specifically cancer for me as a reader, um, but all the water is, is present here. But this is all about celebration, creativity, getting together with friends or getting together with your person. You could be dating, you could be newly dating or taking some time out if this is a longer term connection to just spend time together, have fun, really remember what it's all about. Sometimes you just need that reminder to just have fun and take a little time for yourself, but um, you are in creative mode, I have to say. There's, I feel like there's a lot going on inside of you, Leo, and a lot that you are desiring to express. But with this daily life, this is lighthearted. You might be giving a little more time or deciding to give a little more time in the very near future to more lighthearted pursuits, playful pursuits. Maybe things have been kind of serious. Maybe it's been intense. Maybe everything has felt like a fight or a battle and you need a little time to play. And that's beautiful. Like, take that time. Um, I do feel like someone is desiring to see you and spend time with you. Might even want to like... I don't know, end up someplace, like if the two of you aren't together, you might kind of want to accidentally end up someplace you are, like a party or a gathering or something, because they just want to see you. In their daily life, they got the Ten of Wands. I don't know why, I feel like I see this a lot for Leo's person, and I mean, it makes sense. Wands are fire energy, which is Leo energy. This one specifically for me is Sagittarius as a reader, but... um. This is someone who definitely has a lot on their plate. They take on a lot. They do a lot. I do feel like they're a creative person, but with this Knight of Coins and the Ten of Wands, might be a little bit of a workaholic vibe here too. They do want to wrap up a challenging cycle. If they have been overworking and not taking enough time out to really focus on the relationship and the connection, I feel like they want to put that energy behind them. And we'll get clarifiers on all these to get the details. In your heart space, you're in the Nine of Wands. Once again, could be dealing with the Sagittarius, but you have feelings for this person. You have interest. You have passion. You like to see where it can go, but there is a side of you that is a little bit guarded, and I just don't wonder if it's because you're really working on some things. There's something about this card that really reminds me of the magician, manifesting, creating. I mean, you might have like a witchy vibe to you. You might actually be... Um, exploring some of the, just the, the arts or the craft or something like that. Um, I don't know why I'm just drawn to that. Obviously not for everyone, but I do feel like there's something you're working on. This person is on your radar, but I feel like you, you, you're a little guarded too. Um, I think that it's possible in the past you've been in relationships or connections that you might have lost yourself in a little bit. And so now you have this interest and you like to see where it can go, but you're like, I'm not going to lose myself in this. If I go for it, I'm going for this on my own terms. I'm not going to lose myself in this connection. It's going to interesting energy. I've not usually seen it come through like that. Um, and I'm not seeing a ton of cups. We'll see what comes out in the clarifier. We have this three of cups energy, but it's all about friendship and lightheartedness. So I don't know. I feel like both of you might be a little, a little bit guarded when it comes to really opening up your heart. Your person in their heart space has the ace of swords. It's all thought energy. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. They think about you, I mean, way more than you realize. Um, they want some sort of fresh start and new beginning. We've got two aces for your person. Could be an entirely new person, but it could be someone that you have some time in history because this person has put in some time here. Um, may not be in that place right now. Could be in separation um, for some of you, just because I'm not seeing a lot of really romantic interaction at the moment, but there's a lot of thought. There's a lot of determination. There's a lot of interest. You two like each other. You spark each other. You think about each other. Um, they want something fresh with you. They want something new. And I feel like they're trying to make some changes in their life so they can really have that.
for your intentions. You've got the hanged man in reverse, but I almost feel like it's sort of an accidental reverse. Sometimes when I'm lining up my deck to check and make sure everything's good, I'll see this hanged man card and because it's an upside down, I won't realize it's reverse. So what I feel like this is saying to me is that you may have taken some time for yourself. You may have even um, put things on hold in the romantic area a little bit, but you're ready for something. And if you have <clears throat> been on hold or if your connection's been on hold, it may have been almost like accidental. It may have been like, oh my goodness, we've been working a lot and I meant to take out time and you're on my mind and oh, we got to catch up. We've got to talk about this. I still have these feelings. This is Pisces energy. There's a depth here to this energy. There's a depth to the feelings that you have for this person. I do feel like you kind of want to go right side up. I do feel like you want to get past this waiting energy and really make some things happen. And definitely in your potential outcome cards, I'm seeing that and you'll see why. Um, your person has the two of wands for their intentions. They feel like you're the one. They want to move forward. They want to see where it can go. They feel like you are their match. They are really interested in you. Aries energy could be significant. They are making some decisions for sure how to move forward, how to really make this happen. What I would love to see is a little more opening up the heart over there. So I'm really hoping we see that in the, in the clarifiers. In your potential outcome, and this is another reason why I saw a lot of that spirituality. We have the hermit and the hierophant here. These are teachers. These are leaders. These are people that are deep. These are people that have like the wisdom of the ages. You've got something happening with you, Leo, be it an awakening or what have you, that you have really done some inner work. You've really gone inside and sorted some things out. You also may have gotten single. You may have separated yourself up from um, not everyone on obviously, but some of you with the Hermit card might be taking a little time out, a little extra time for you. But with the Hierophant card, that is a love reading about connection, about moving forward. Taurus energy could be significant, could be dealing with a Virgo as well. Um, a lot of really earthy energy. You could really want something with someone. Um, want something for the long term and really see some potential and some stability in this connection. But I feel like you're doing some inner work here. And you've got the Five of Cups and the Eight of Wands. So there are more cups here. There are feelings, but with the Five of Cups, it's someone who is a little discouraged. So you could be a little bit discouraged. It could be that the two of you aren't um, really talking, or if you're just kind of talking in a friendly way, or it's somebody from work or something like that. But with the Eight of Wands, I feel like there's somebody that is on your mind. Um, could be a need for an apology from someone or something like that with the, with the Five of Cups. Some things have been spilt. There's been some disappointment. But with the Two of Cups, the love is still present. It's still here. And I see messages and communication and forward movement. I feel like possibly after a time of taking time for yourself, a time out, a time of healing, um, you are ready to move forward. And you know, I said the Hanged Man and Reaper verse can be when you're kind of over that waiting period and you're ready to make things happen. And with that eight of um, wands, I do feel like you're ready for some forward moment, movement. With the five of cups, you may have taken some time out for healing, taken some time out to recover from a difficulty or a past um, situation or something like that. But there is forward movement here. It's very positive, more Sagittarius energy here. Um, your person for the potential outcome really could be dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I have to say that because we have Libra here. Um, we have Gemini here. And then more Gemini energy in this King of Swords. Of course, Aquarius as well, whenever you see air. But... Um, Someone is trying to make a decision about you, about this connection. We've got a two of swords and a two of wands. How to maybe communicate, talk, say something with this ace of swords and an ace of wands. How to speak up, how to let you know how they're feeling. I feel like there's a lot of um, kind of intense attraction towards you, Leo, with this 
Um, Ace of Wands here, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy, a lot of fire, a lot of interest. I feel like with the Knight of Coins, this is somebody who might be a little bit of a thinker or a planner or something like that, but they've got so much attraction for you. It's almost overwhelming and um, could almost even come on a little strong. So they're trying to make some decision about how to move forward on that. There's a part of them that is in overthinking mode. We've got an Eight of Swords here. Um, it's time to make a heart overhead decision with this two of swords and this person is so up in their head about how to do it, how to move forward, how to make it happen. With the king of swords, they are going to take some initiative. Um, they are going to find some serious clarity here. You could be dealing with the Gemini for sure, but I do feel like this person is definitely going to open up and tell you what they're feeling. They are going to be really honest, like right to the point about this uh, very decisive energy after a time of indecision, because I have to tell you what was on the bottom of the deck for them before I get into the clarifiers was the Ace of Coins and the Sun. That's Leo energy. You are really all they can think about. With the Ace of Coins, they do want to start something with you. Um, three Aces on their side. So they want, if it's a past person, they definitely want a fresh start. If it's someone that you're in like a long-term connection with, they want to liven and brighten things up and make things happen and, and have a little more excitement, a little more lightheartedness, spontaneity. Um, it is someone completely new. They are infatuated. Absolutely. With the sun here, it just kind of lightens and brightens and warms everything up. And I do feel like you brighten their world in a powerful way. So now we're going to pull a few, just a few clarifiers and a little bit of these energies that are a little more challenging. Find out what's going on. And I'm really hoping to see your person open their heart up a little more. I'm hoping to see some cups on their side. So let's see. Definitely a ton of interest, a ton of feeling, and you're it if you're the only one on their mind with that sun there. But I want to see them open up a little more. Okay, so why do we have the seven of wands for you? Why do we have the seven of wands? Why do we have this nine of wands here in your heart space? Why do we have this nine of wands? Why do we have this hanged man in reverse? Hanged man in reverse. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so many cards came out. I don't, definitely don't think I'm going to take them um, because this is a short reading. This was like a one hour personal reading. I would grab every one of those cards and go into it, but this is a shorter reading. I don't want these to be too long. Let's see if we can get one card. I do feel like once you're ready to talk, it's all gonna come out in the open, Leo. Like you're just gonna go for it. Okay. And get a clarifier on this five of cups. What is this disappointment that you're dealing with here? And what is this eight of wands all about? Okay, this is this is all kind of starting to come together here. I'm going to grab your person's clarifiers too because I just want to go for it with this. So we're already up to 20 minutes. So why do we have this ten of wands here? Oh my goodness. Okay, um, why do we have this ace of swords in the heart space? What is this person so fired up to talk about? What do they want to say to you? What is this ace of swords all about? Why do we have this two of wands? What is this decision? Two of wands. Two of swords. <laughs> Three cards, way too many. Two of swords. <laughs> Those three cards coming back out. Okay, since they came out twice, I mean, they just came out twice, we're going to go ahead and take them. But boy, I could be reading all day long. Luckily, we haven't extended to go into and find out more about this. Okay, finally, some cups from your person. They are opening up. I don't think it's easy for them. I really don't. 
Um, with our seven of wands for you, Leo, we have a clarify for the king of, sorry, the queen of pentacles, Capricorn energy there, specifically for me as a reader. Um, it's earth, so there is Taurus and Virgo present as well. But I do feel like you're kind of determined right now, Leo. I feel like you're definitely working on something. For those of you that may be doing like a spiritual practice, I have to say with that hair font and that um that hermit there it is going to be really it is going to do really really well really tremendous there with the queen of pentacles it's going to provide for you and all of that but you could be a little focused on work right now leo i have to say that but there's more um in your heart space, you've got this Nine of Wands, very interesting, clarified by the Emperor and the King of Cups. So, Divine Masculine Energy, Aries Energy could be very significant there. Um, also, Pisces with that King of Cups, but your feelings for this person do run very deep. You might take time for yourself. You might be a little guarded at times, but I feel like it's only because the... the the intensity of the way you feel, this King of Cups feels very deeply. And with this Emperor, this is your person. Um, that Emperor energy is all about that person who is the one. I do feel like even at times if you get guarded, this person kind of sticks around and they do. It's like they keep wanting to know you. They keep wanting to understand you. Um, hanged man in reverse clarified by the three of wands. Possibly you have been waiting, but you see some, some ships coming in. You see some good news. You've got some messages coming towards you and our five of cups is clarified by the knight of cups. And I asked what you were disappointed about. Um, Scorpio energy, very, very strong here. It's possibly a message that you know is coming, a message of love and a communication of love. And it's been taking a little bit of time and you're ready to go for it. I mean, we've got the hanged man here clarifying this eight of wands. So hanged man twice, Pisces twice. Um, someone that has been really taking their time is about to step up and kick it into high gear and really talk and really move forward. And I feel like, Leo, if you have been taking time out to focus on you, and if you have been a little concerned that maybe if you like really open up and go for it, you could kind of get lost in this and lose track of what you're doing. I don't think that's the case. You are so on track. You are so true to yourself. I think you can make a little time to play, a little time for romance and enjoy a little bit because I feel like you're going to be just fine. Spiritually, financially, things are coming to together. Your person has a 10 of wands clarified by the nine of wands. Um, they're guarded too. And when they feel a little vulnerable or feel a little overwhelmed or a little nervous about the next step, um, they might throw themselves into their work. But they're a hard space. They've got the ace of swords clarified by the strength card. That is you. That is Leo energy. They've got the sun and the strength card. You are it. You are on their mind. You are what they want. Definitely getting the courage up to talk about something there with the strength clarifying that ace of swords. We've got the two of wands clarified by the three of pentacles in reverse. So um, this may be somebody you used to spend a lot of time with and talk to all the time or see at work or see someplace or something like that. Might be missing them. Might be wanting to see them again. Might be wanting to kind of partner up, collaborate, do something special to um, gather. They want to do something special with you. Might even come towards you in that sense. And now our clarifiers. We've got these three that came out twice and we're just so determined to come out. Um, we have our two of swords clarified by the six of pentacles, the tower, and the four of cups. What I'm seeing is... <laughs> This person's feelings for you, their interest in you, has really shaken them up and thrown them for a loop. They had gotten a little used to things being the way they were. And they may have even been so busy that they weren't really making time for love, but their feelings came in, their awareness of you, their awareness of this connection, this interest, and it shook them up. I mean, they want to come in. 
more Taurus energy here with a balanced connection. If there's been a disagreement, if there's been a difficulty, they definitely want to make things right. Um, but they're kind of shaken up over this. If the two of you are separated, they're thinking about you a ton, missing you, and they, they do definitely want to see you again. We've got, and I told you, I was really hoping we could get some cups, some open cups here. And our um, Eight of Swords, King of Swords, and Ace of Wands here. Which a person has been wanting to talk about, but needs to get clear on, but is dying to say, is the Queen of Cups here. Um, that is Cancer energy. It can be very specific, could be dealing with a Cancer, but it is an open heart. It is love. It is one of the most powerful love cards <laughs> in the tarot. I feel like this person might be a bit of an overthinker. They might take their time about things. Definitely have a lot of just raw attraction for you. But in their heart, there is a vulnerability when it comes to love. They do want to feel this. They do want to experience this. They do want to share it with you. And we've got the King of Cups in your heart space and the Queen of Cups and their potential outcome. They do want to open up. There's just a vulnerability that this person is um, is feeling. When they really let themselves love deep, they go all in, all in. And it's a little scary for them, but they do want this with you. And with this emperor showing up, this is a pretty significant and powerful connection. So that is what I have for you. Um, powerful reading. And if this feels like your message, if it resonates uh, and you'd like to see the extended, we are going to kind of take a deep dive into this person. We're going to look a lot more closely at what's going on with them, what things are happening in their life, what they want to say to you, but maybe haven't said yet, what they like, don't like about the connection, their hopes and fears, and what their next move might be. So if you're interested and want to take kind of a deep dive and look at this person, you can meet me over at the extended but my goal is for all of these readings to be complete so in themselves the extended will be complete this is complete um, trust your intuition on this one take what's yours leave what's not if you did want to check in for a personal reading i would love to connect with you i thank you all so much i appreciate you this reading went a little longer than i planned but I love my Leo people, and this is fascinating what's going on here. So I love this reading. Thank you so much, and I will talk to you all soon.